Today we determine that person to be successful who has a degree. We say that that person is successful who has a lot of money. We say today that that person who has four or five birds, he is successful. But what did the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say? He said, successful is that person. Mandana nafsahu, who controls his ego, who controls his desires. Wa amila lima ba'd al And he prepares for the life after death. Wal ajizu man ittaba an nafsahu, hawaha wa tamanna ala Allah. He says, useless is that person. Useless is that person who follows his whims and desires into the pressures of his own ego and who fulfills his own desires and wa tamanna Allah and after fulfilling all his desires what does he do he builds high hopes from Allah that Allah is merciful Allah is kind Allah will forgive me the messenger of Allah says this person is useless our youngsters today, the state of this ummah, we are within this state today because not just our youngsters, the majority of us today. For us today, Facebook has become our Quran. The nightclubs and the pubs, they have become our masjids and madrasas. Our phones, our iPhones, our iPads, they have become our tasbihs. Why would this Ummah not decline this back to elders? Look at our state today. There was a time where if a person had a girlfriend or a girl had a boyfriend, they would do their utmost, they would do everything to keep it a secret. Nowadays, in this society, if you don't have a girlfriend or if you don't have a boyfriend, you will be looked down upon. You have no rank, you have no status in society. It has become something of pride. It has become something of joy. It has become a standard of living today. And adultery and fornication, Allahu Akbar. It's openly being committed today. People are not bothered today. A Muslim youth today, he openly boasts that I have slept with five women, I have slept with six women, seven women, eight women. And there is a competition going on. Who can sleep with the most women? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَةً That stay away from zina. Stay away from zina. It is a shameful act. A shameful act and an evil way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering us. Our creator is ordering us. He is telling us that this is not healthy for you. It's not healthy for your iman. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He mentions in a narration. Allahu Akbar. He says that all oh, group of youths. Be aware of zina, avoid zina, adultery and fornication, avoid it because it has six consequences. Three in this world and three in the hereafter. And if you commit adultery and fornication, then you will have to face these consequences. The three in this, this world are that the radiance on the face of a person disappears. There is no nur left on the person's face. His face becomes blackened out. Number two, number two, this person's lifespan is reduced. Number three, this person is subjected to poverty and famine. And the three in the hereafter are, this person will face the anger and the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, this person, the adulterers and the fornicators, they will go through a dreadful reckoning. And number three, these people will be cast into hell. Our women today, they are being told through the media and through various other avenues, there is one message that is being portrayed to them. And that message is equality of sexes. That you have to stand shoulder to shoulder with men. 
the same rights men have, you have to have the same rights also. Respect your sisters, this is a plot of shaitan. This is a trap of shaitan. Look around you today. Allahu Akbar. Look around you. There are many people out there today who are looking for you. There are many people out there who are looking to use and abuse you. They want to strip you from your modesty. They want to strip you from your honor. But respect his sister, you are precious to this Muslim Ummah. Your honor is precious to this Muslim Ummah. Your honor is precious to this Muslim Ummah. Remember this, my sisters. Do not let anyone use and abuse you. The Messenger of Allah is warning us. But do not fall into the trap of zina. Do not fall in for the temptations of women. Shaitan will beautify them for you. But if you lower your gaze, Allahu Akbar, if you lower your gaze, then you will taste the sweetness of Iman. You cannot worship until you love You cannot love until you feel You cannot feel until you understand You can understand until you learn You cannot learn until you have been found Can't be found until you Seek, you will not seek nor find until you 